Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about WD Elements portable USB hard drive repair and data recovery. This is the PN number. You can use this number to look for parts for repair purpose. This is the hard drive inside the enclosure. This picture shows the contacts between the PCB board and the hard drive. Inside the red circle are the contacts. Sometimes cleaning up them can fix hardware problems. For example, if the hard drive get watered or get rusty, Clean the contacts can help the, to uh, solve the problem. This is the PCB board for the hard drive. The PCB board is a very important number. We use this number to find the correct donor board. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the hard drive PCB board. One. USB adapter. This chip controls this external hard drive's USB 3.0 port. 2. Motor chip. This chip controls the motor on the hard drive. 3. Motor contacts. These contacts contact the PCB board and the motor. 4. Memory. 5. CPU. This main chip uses the memory to run programs on the PCB board. 6. Actuator contacts. The PCB board through these contacts send and receive signal to the hard drive. 7. BIOS chip 1. 8. BIOS chip 2. These two BIOS chips recording all the hard drives, basic configuration data, and other programs. The other part of this video, we are going to talk about how to swap these two chips to make a clone hard drive, hard drive PCB board and uh, to swap the board to rescue a hard drive. Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about how to fix a hard drive by exchanging the controller board. Exchanging the controller board is a very common way to fix a hard drive in the data recovery technology. It involves in quite a few critical tricks. Some people say as long as they can find an identical hard drive, then exchange the controller board can fix the hard drive problem. It was true for some old hard drives, but it is not true for the most new hard drives. This video is going to talk about this in detail. To fix a hard drive by replacing the controller board, including the following eight steps. 1. Make sure that the controller board is the problem. 2. Find the correct donor board. 3. Take off the bad board. 4. Shape the bad board. 5. Controller board firmware transfer. 6. Receive the donor board. 7. Put on the donor board. 8. Test the hard drive. Step 1. Make sure the controller board is the problem. Replacing the controller board only can fix the controller board problem. It will not fix the other 
hard drive problems. We listed most of the bad board symptoms in our website. Step 2. Also, this is the key. Find the correct donor board. We need to find the model number of the hard drive and the board number of the PCB board and search in our website to find the correct donor board for the hard drive. Hard drive model number located on the label on the front side of the hard drive. The controller board number on the green controller board. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, input the board number space, the model number, and then click on search. Now, you find the board for your hard drive. Please read the description part of the item and follow the instructions. WD use Tox 6 screws to secure the PCB board on the hard drive. So we use Tox 6 screwdriver to work on this Western Digital 2.5 inch hard drive. You can find Tox 6 screwdriver in the most hardware store. Step 3. Take off the controller board. First, unscrew all the screws and keep all the screws in a safe place for the later use. Second, take off the controller board. Step 4. Ship the bad PCB board to us. First, protect the board with static bag and bubble mailer. Second, if you ship from outside of Canada, you need to fill a customs declaration form. You declare the bad board as a bad hard drive controller board. The value is $5. You need to fill a PCB board firmware transfer form. You can find the form in the description part of the item. This is how the clients ship their PCB board to us. First, they print out our shipping address on the envelope. Second, their mailing address. Third, print out the firmware transfer form and ship together with the PCB board. Fourth, if ship from outside of Canada, they fill a customs declaration form Declare the board as bad hardware controller board. The value is $5. Step 5. Controller board firmware transfer, also called controller board BIOS swap. It means to transfer the controller board firmware from one board to another board. Why do we have to do controller board firmware transfer for this model hard drive? Because this model hard drive, one controller board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the bad board to a good 
Don't abort. This picture illustrated how to do fermion transfer. On the left hand side is a bad controller board. On the right hand side is a good controller board. Controller board fermion transfer means we transfer the data from the memory chip on the bad board to the memory chip on the good donor board. Regarding hard drive controller board firmware transfer, we have the following four things want to mention. First, we can do controller board firmware transfer from burned, physically damaged, watered controller boards because we work on the memory chip so do not worry about how damaged your PCB board could be as long as we can read the data from the memory chip we can do firmware transfer from this board second Controller board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. Controller board firmware transfer is to copy the controller board firmware from one controller board to another controller board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's firmware it nothing to do with the controller board. We do controller board formula transfer for our clients for free. We offer free shipping to ship the donor controller board to our clients. Step 6. Receive the donor board. After we finished the firmware transfer, we use this professional box to mail the PCB board back to our clients. Step 7. Put on the donor board to the hard drive. After receiving the donor board, you need to put donor board onto the hard drive and second, screw all the screws back to the PCB board to secure the PCB board to the hard drive. When you do it, please do it nice and gentle. Step 8. Test the hard drive. Put the repaired hard drive back to your computer to test it. If it works, congratulations, you fixed the hard drive. If the hard drive doesn't work, that means this hard drive got the problem beyond the PCB board. Inside the hard drive, there are two parts, spindle and the disks. If the spindle or disks got problem, the hard drive would not work as well. If you cannot find the correct board for your hard drive, you may take pictures of the hard drive and the PCB board. Email to us. We will find the correct board or the best solution for you. We carry all the brand name hard drive parts from the very old to the latest. If you cannot find the correct parts by yourself, you may take pictures of the hard drive and the controller board. Email to us. We will find the correct parts or the best solution for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.